Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. The numbers are in for April for the greater Indianapolis housing market. The median sales price has bounced back to its high of 300,000. Sales and new listings were both up, which, hey, considering the time of year, that's really not a whole lot of surprise, although they are better than a year ago this time. All that caused sales to be a tad lower. Last year, they were running on median about six days. Today, they're all the way up to eight days. Not sure that makes a whole lot of difference. Sales are going off at 1% under list on average, and the active inventory has increased to 3,016 homes. And everyone appreciates whatever loosening there is in the market. Over in Hamilton County, there's a somewhat similar pattern. Although prices haven't reached back to their peak, uh, they are settling at about 441,000 on average. Both sales and listings were up substantially, like 13 and 16% respectively. And the median days on market is just six days, which means good houses are selling fast. The average home is going off at list price and inventory remains tight. Hey, so what can you do about tight inventory? What I say is, be like a Boy Scout, be prepared. Builders are offering rates as low as 4.99% on a 30-year fixed rate. And I've seen banks uh, offering closing cost grants of $5,000, which means they don't have to be repaid. And I've even seen some sellers of existing homes doing the same. And I know of a couple banks that are offering 100% financing with no mortgage insurance. Hey, and if you have a down payment, you still might want to consider going that route and then taking those funds and paying off whatever installment loans and car loans and trucks and boats and planes and all your credit cards and student loans or whatever you might have, it just might work. Hey, to learn how you can take advantage of any of these strategies, hit me up below, give me a quick call or text and make it a great day.